In this video, I'm going to cover the most recent real estate statistics for Austin, Texas. What's about to change with real estate commissions on August 13th? What's the latest with the Federal Reserve and mortgage interest rates? And what you should do if your home didn't sell? I'm Eric Peterson, broker of Copa Real Estate. If you'd like to see more local real estate information, be sure to subscribe to our channel. First, let's take a look at the most recent stats for Austin, Texas. In July 2024, there were 10,381 active listings with 3,198 homes under contract. There were 2,194 homes that sold in July of 2024, which was down 11.9%. Average price per square foot was $263 a foot, which was down a little bit under 1%. Average sales price was $594,900, down 2% from last year. Median sales price was $463,517, down 1.4%. And the average days on the market was 56 days. The highest price home sold in Austin was in the Austin MLS was $5,100,000. Looking at the market action index for Austin, Texas, and you can see this is a, a gauge of telling whether we're in a buyer seller market. The closer we are to 100, the more of a seller market, closer we are down to the bottom, more of a buyer market. So you see our, our black trend there is going downwards uh, more towards a buyer market right now. Now, remember that real estate is always super local, so don't take this information to mean anything necessarily about your house or your neighborhood. Always reach out to us so we can talk about your situation, your particular property, uh, before you make any generalizations about the data that we're sharing. Now, the big news is what's changing for real estate commissions on August 13th. So here's what's going on. Come August 13th, there will no longer be a field in the Austin MLS that shows any type of buyer agent compensation. It won't exist at all. Now that doesn't mean that you as a seller won't be able to offer any buyer agent compensation. It just can't be listed in the MLS. And so there's gonna be a couple of ways that this is handled. Uh, one, you can do more of an old school style or another way where you can essentially tell the buyers to bring their best offer. And of course, the third way is you as a seller can just say, I'm not paying any buyer agent commission. I'm going to be doing another much longer video about this. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to our channel to be able to check out that video as soon as I'm able to post it. And then the big news about interest rates, the Federal Reserve met on July 30th and 31st. They decided to hold the Fed funds rate uh, the same, so they did not reduce rates, which was basically expected. We're all hoping that uh, the Fed's going to cut rates in September. Certainly, the markets really reacted to the comments from Fed Chairman Powell after the meeting, indicating that, uh, at least the way the financial markets are reading the tea leaves, that that first cut will be coming in September. Markets pretty much entirely expect a rate cut in September at this stage. Um, I wonder if you think that's a reasonable expectation, and if so, why not just make the move today? Thank you. So um, on September, let me say this. We, we have made no decisions about future meetings, and that includes the September meeting. The broad sense of the committee is that the economy is moving closer to the point at which it will be appropriate to reduce our policy rate. Uh, in that, we will be data dependent, but not data point dependent. So it will not be a question of responding specifically to one or two data releases. <clears throat> the question will be whether the totality of the data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks are consistent with rising confidence on inflation and maintaining a solid labor market. If that test is met, a reduction in our policy rate could be on the table as soon as the next meeting in September. If you want to watch the mortgage rates, though, don't just pay attention to what the Fed's doing. Mortgage rates more closely track the 10-year treasuries. And so we saw a sharp decline, about a quarter of a point lower in the treasury yield to under 4% here on August 1st. And so that's really encouraging. The second thing, if you want to be overly optimistic going forward, this is kind of getting into the weeds of interest rates, but a lot of my clients like the data. And uh, typically, there's a spread between the 10-year treasury yield and the 30-year fixed rate mortgages. And typically, that had been about 1.75% through early uh, 2022. 
Last year, we saw that spread go all the way up to over 3%, and that's why rates really ballooned to about 8% on the mortgage front. Today, we're back down to about 2.5%, so it's much better than it was last year. But we sure love to see that get back down to 1.75%. And so, you know, we're still uh, trying to manage expectations that, that Fannie Mae is projecting that mortgage rates are still going to be in the mid sixes through next year. But there's a possibility that we could see rates fall sooner than later, just because if that spread tightens up a little bit, you could see mortgage rates lowering, even without the Fed doing anything. And finally, what to do if your home didn't sell? So at the end of the month comes, there's a lot of homes that come off the market. I just got this, uh, I got this email from a seller whose home is coming off the market and wants me to list her property. So we do specialize in helping people that had their home on the market and it didn't sell. And then we get it turned around a lot of times with our free home staging package. Sometimes it's a little bit better make ready. Sometimes it's just with a lot better marketing, advertising and market knowledge that we bring to the table. So if you are frustrated of not selling your house, definitely reach out to me at 512-791-7473 or schedule a time on my calendar at copaconsultation.com. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate your support.